Hey guys, what's up? It's Clay Ranger 143 here, along with your first time at start. And today is a very, very special unboxing because today we're gonna be unboxing the very radio that Miss Devious Eleven over here convinced me to get this entire year. The first alert: SFA 1150. So, mine. yep, there's her first alert. I finally got one of these NASCAR shaped bricks. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Let's unbox this beauty. So, as you can see, there's tape all around this box. So there's only one thing to do. We're gonna have to use the old fashioned method again. <laughs> Shiny. Let's open this thing. What's this? What's this? Oh, okay, this is the uh, purchasing details. You might want to cover your ears for this. Some big packing pillows of air. Popped. <laughs> so anyway, let's get this out. Ow. And here's the box. Look at that. Here's the box. Yeah. Right here. Let's take a look at it real quick. First alert. I don't remember, I don't remember if mine came in a box or not. It might have, might have not. But anyway, let's take a look here. First alert. AM FM weather band clock radio with SAME weather alert. SFA 1150. First alert. Warning indicator lights when alert is received. Same. Severe weather. Floods. Bunch of floods. <laughs> Disasters. Amber alerts. Warning. Watch advisory. All hazards NOAA weather radio. Some lightning strikes there. One year warranty. Okay, this should be interesting then. So, let's go ahead and open the box that houses this beauty. Oh my god. This is it, Katie. This is it. This is it. I see the radio. I see the radio. Here's the power adapter. It's it looks the same as the 996. Let me open the power adapter. Okay. So, we got the power adapter with a surprisingly big adapter for it. So, where's the, um, oh, okay. Let's unravel this thing real quick. Let's extend it. It's a K-Tech adapter. Oh my god. I have one of these actually, which is what I use for my 522. But it has a smaller slot. So, let's just go ahead and uh, untangle this adapter. We're going to plug it in here, for now at least. Now let's get into the real deal. This thing feels like a cube. It's a cube. Katie, I don't know if you're looking at my screen right now, but... Oh my god. <laughs> Now, for those of you wondering, this radio wasn't made by First Alert. It's actually made by a company called Spectra. Ah, it's small, but cute and pointy. 
Katie. Here it is, Katie. First alert. SFA 1150. Mm -hmm. right. Huh? You are cutting out really bad. Yeah, you're cutting out really bad. Wow, the antenna is thick on this thing. Wow, just wow. Um, let's press all the buttons for good luck. In service. Any buttons on the back that I need to press? Takes four AA batteries. And this thing has auxiliary inputs. Um, Katie? Katie, it's cutting out really bad. I don't th I'm not sure if it's just me or not. I think it's mine, but... Um, at least I don't think so. I really want to wait for her to come back so I can power this thing on. Is it my internet? No, it's not my internet. Let me call her back. Let me just call her back real quick before I power it on. Maybe it's her internet acting up. I'm sorry about this, guys, so please wait a moment. I'll have to restart my phone. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we're, I'm sorry about that, but we're back. So anyway, Katie, I don't know if you saw it earlier, but here is the first alert in the flesh. And there's Katie's first alert. But I haven't turned mine on, because I wanted to wait for you. But yeah, the antenna is very, very thick. It's almost as thick on the base as the version 5 WR100. And it's not even that tall either. Hmm. But anyway, the moment of truth, guys. Let's power this baby up. Are you ready, Katie? I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, it's not coming in. There we go. 12 a.m. It is officially on. All right, now, let's go ahead and set this thing up. Menu, time. Current time is 2.46 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Okay, time, 2.46. Um, next option. Alarm, I don't want an alarm. County, any, of course. Alert type. Tone? No. We want it to voice. Alert. New alerts. Yes, you can add custom alerts to this thing, believe it or not. You can only add five. Defeat siren. We might as well do this. Is everything enabled already? I guess so. Siren level. Or siren level. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Why should the duck hunt? Uh, it's email. My email right down. Siren level? What? Oh. So you do have to change some stuff, but we'll get to that later. Alert test. Oh god, here we go. Not as loud as I thought it was, eh? That's not as loud as I thought, huh? No, it's not that loud at all, really. If, if, if you keep it on low, it's not that loud. And if I wasn't to say about that 
that light. It's so pretty! <laughs> Damn it, Katie! I hear it! It's plugged in so I can't fall out any further. Nice! Display backlight. Oh. That's the backlight levels. Load defaults. What is this? What the hell does that do? Oh. Time. And that's it. So, um. Yes, it has aux. How do I turn it all off? Which one? The power button? Yeah, power, power mode button. You gotta hold, you gotta hold it to turn it off. There you go. Thanks. Yep. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, let's, let me see if I can find a spot to plug this thing in. I think I might be able to plug it in here. So... If I just unplug this and put it into the... That's the power adapter for the 993 PSP adapter that I use. So, let's go ahead and plug this. And put it over here. we got a new member in the family, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if it fits. Yes! Perfect fit! Alright! Try the um, AM FM. It's the takeaway. I'm Todd Zwillick. During the Cold War, the American military went to great length to gain an edge over the Soviet Union. An estimated 7,000 U.S. soldiers were exposed to dangerous chemicals, essentially guinea pigs, in top-secret experiments at the Edgewood Arsenal in Maryland. Well, decades later, many of those soldiers haven't even been notified of the potential health consequences of those experiments, and they haven't been able to get medical treatment from the government. Carson Frame has the story of one veteran's struggle to get care. The Army's Medical Research Volunteer Program at Edgewood Arsenal skirted the boundaries of medical ethics. And of course it has a... Ow! I am sorry for the ear rape there. Of course it has FM and AM, of course. Um... God. What should I do now? Hmm... What should I do now? Hmm... Let me think about that real quick. Well, it does have aux, so we might as well test it out. 
Let's try it out here. I know this is taking a while, but let's try this song right here. See how it sounds on the first alert. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty nice on the first alert speaker, even though it's just one. Um, let me put this back in here. Oh, by the way, Katie already knows what I'm about to say, but some of you guys don't. So, Katie, are you still there? I'm here. Alright. So, guess what I just realized? Well, Katie already knows, but it's official, guys. The first alert SFA 1150 is now my 20th water radio! How about that? So, two good radios. The 10th radio was the Sanjian, and now the 20th radio is the First Alert. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. Yeah! Everybody's 30. Oh, God. 30? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Oh, and of course, there's one more thing I forgot to put in. The manual, of course. But... But we don't care about the manual now, do we? Because we don't know this shit enough from watching previous unboxing videos like from, from Mr. Steve! When you unbox this first alert! So, anyway... Uh... Yeah. Nice packaging. And it smells factory fresh, too. But, for now, I guess that is it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like. Comment on this video if you want. Feel free to comment whatever you want on any of my videos, actually. Hopefully a positive one. And also, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel as well as Norfolk Southern Storms channel over here for more weather related videos. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Clay Ranger 143 signing out now with 20 weather radios with the 20th one being a brick that actually, hold on a second, let me demonstrate. Let me go ahead and demonstrate. I did. So, let me demonstrate real quick. See the way this light is shaped. Denny Hamlin will win the Daytona 500! <laughs> what?
with a die-cast Toyota Camry. Ah, uh, God. Hell, put Dale Jr. in here, too. But anyway, yeah. It's a NASCAR racetrack brick! So, as I was saying, this is Clear Ranger 143 signing out now with 20 weather radios, along with. No Frog Southern Storm. And. This is my radios out there. They're so pretty! And. Me and Miss Devious 11 over here. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.